On Asia Tonight, Singapore takes steps to fight fake news and hate speech. Resetting relations with China, New Zealand Prime Minister in Beijing on a one-day official visit. Escaping the death sentence, the Vietnamese woman accused of killing North Korea's half-brother Kim Jong-nam gets jail instead. Hello, I'm Glenda Chong. And I'm Steve Lai. Also ahead now, if you're stuck in a rut at work, we'll show you where young Koreans are looking to make a living. That's right, and Dawn Tan has the business news this evening, Dawn. That's right, up ahead in business news this evening, Steve. We've got Indonesia seeking to move up the food chain with the launch of three special economic zones. Welcome to Asia Tonight, our brand new nightly look at news from across the region and the world. And as always, we are tracking the top stories, including the name of Japan's new imperial era, Michio Ishida. She has that story. Plus, Jeremy Ko shows us how Chinese artificial intelligence stacks up against US technology. First tonight, though, Singapore joins a growing number of countries in countering fake news through new laws as its parliament tabled the protection from online falsehoods and manipulation bill today. These laws will allow the taking down of accounts or cutting off a website's ability to profit if it spreads falsehoods. They will also slap fines of up to a million dollars for certain criminal acts. Authorities say they are meant to protect society against the damage from online falsehoods. Ariel Lip reports. <laughs> 